Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the carelessness and negligence we have heard that's coming out from the set of Rust where Alec Baldwin fatally shot the cinematographer Helena Hutchins as he was preparing for a scene, not even filming a scene, just preparing for a scene, sitting in the pew, drawing his gun and shot the cinematographer. To Dave Halls, the assistant director who called cold gun on the set meaning the weapon should not have been loaded and gave it to Alec Baldwin, means he didn't check the weapon himself. All the way to the lead armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who I've done multiple videos on now, the absolute carelessness and negligence shown by her will be further evidenced in this independent article I'm about to show you now because authorities found loose ammunition on the set. So this is the article on the independent. This is a complicated case, boxes of loose ammunition found on Russ set after Alec Baldwin shooting. A spokesperson for the police department said the case was complicated. So it's a spokesperson, for the police department who's investigating the case. Authorities have said they recovered loose and boxed ammunition while investigating cinematographer Helena Hutchins' death on the set of Alec Baldwin's film Rust. According to an inventory of seized items that was made public on Monday the 25th of October, these included two boxes of ammo, loose ammo and boxes, and a fanny pack with ammo. Officers also found three revolvers and loose casings. So you've got two boxes of ammo, then you've got loose ammo sitting around and some boxes. And then you've also got a fanny pack with ammo. So you've got a bunch of different places where there's loose and boxed up ammo and it's just lying around on the set. And that's up to lead armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who in multiple videos I've done before has had a bunch of issues. In her first movie with Nicolas Cage, she said she wasn't prepared for it and then she said it went okay. And then there was also, she handed a gun to an 11 year old girl on the set and there was some safety concerns there from people on the crew on the set there and then there's also clips that I showed of her in previous videos so this is definitely up to her and she's supposed to be in charge of safety of these weapons on the set and she's leaving boxes of ammo and loose ammo around and three revolvers and loose casings. So investigating officers did not specify what kind of ammunition was recovered from the Bonanza Creek Ranch in Santa Fe or whether it included live bullets, blank cartridges or dummies. So they didn't say, they haven't let us know if it's live ammunition or blanks or dummy cartridges. So we've still yet to find that out. Even as more details around the tragedy emerge, it's still unclear what kind of projectile was fired in the incident that occurred on the 21st of October when Baldwin accidentally misfired a prop gun, it was a functioning gun, let's just call it what it is, that fatally wounded Hutchins. The 42-year-old director of photography was rushed to the University of New Mexico hospital in Albuquerque where she was pronounced dead. And I said in a previous video that the crew was made to travel to Albuquerque from the set each day because they wouldn't put them up in a hotel closer to the set. So that's a 50 mile trip. Having them that far away from a hospital could have been detrimental as well. So in an interview with the New York Times, an LA based professional armorer said that the fact the loose ammunition and casings were found on set raises questions about the organization of the film's armory department. Hannah Gutierrez Reed. Typically, he explained, ammunition is kept in a clearly labeled box. So we said it was in boxes, but it was also loose and in a fanny pack. And there was just a bunch of revolvers lying around. In previous information, it said that Dave Halls picked it up from a cart that was sitting outside. So he grabbed the gun. The rest of this article goes into the affidavit that I've already done videos on previously. And you can check that out in the description below. There's about six or seven videos I've done already. The other thing I wanted to touch on was a detail in this article from Yahoo News, which came out yesterday. So this is Joel Souza, the director. He said, Said, last Thursday, 21st of October, after preparing for the scene in a set of a church, there was a lunch break and the crew was taken by shuttle elsewhere to eat. He said they returned to the set after the meal, but that he was not sure if the firearm was checked again. This is the account of what happened. In the fullest account yet of the fatal shooting, he explained that Baldwin had been sitting in a wooden church pew rehearsing a scene that involved cross drawing a gun, which I've referenced in a previous video, and pointing it at the camera lens. Sousa said he had been standing behind Hutchins and was viewing the camera angle. What I find interesting here is that, and I'm just going on hypothesis now, we did hear that the crew had been using one of these guns for target practice offset, and the crew went on a lunch break and they returned and were not sure if the guns were checked. Is it a possibility that someone was using it for target practice had the gun still loaded and left it on the cart where Dave Halls picked it up from, I believe it's a possibility. And authorities found boxes of ammo lying around, loose ammo lying around, and loose casings lying around. So as details continue to come out, I will continue to update this story. So what the evidence has shown that I've pieced together multiple videos now, and this latest evidence in this video has shown the absolute carelessness and negligence from a lot of parties on the set, from the armorer to the assistant director to Alec Baldwin himself who fired the shot that led to this death of the cinematographer Helena Hutchins. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out and I'll see you in the next one.